Hey everyone, I'm Maddie Thompson from ClearPath Robotics, and this is the first video in our TurtleBot 4 tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be unboxing our robot, getting connected, and getting started with driving in under five minutes. Let's get started. So here we have both of the different TurtleBot 4 models. We've got the TurtleBot Standard and the TurtleBot Lite. Um, both of these robots are built on the iRobot Create 3 mobile base, um, and this has lots of great functionality, including wireless connectivity, support for ROS2, a ton of sensors, and the capabilities for auto docking. Now, both of these robots also have a Raspberry Pi module that is either inside of the Create 3 or in the case of the TurtleBot standard, it's in this shell on top of the Create 3 as well. Um, they both have an RP LiDAR sensor as well as an RGBD spatial AI camera by Lexonis. Um, on the TurtleBot Lite, this is a Oak D Lite version. And on the TurtleBot standard, it is the Oak D Pro version of the camera. Now only on the TurtleBot standard, we've got the mounting platform on the top. We've also got some buttons and some LED lights, as well as an OLED screen, which has some pre-programmed functionality to help you get started quicker. We've also got around the back of the robot, some accessible USB-C ports and a power port. Um, and this would just allow for some easier customization of your robot. So here we have a TurtleBot for standard model. Let's go ahead and open up our box. So right off the top, we've got some documentation. So this includes our links to our quick start manual, as well as our user guide, as well as some safety information. And it's also got a SD card adapter. So I recommend giving this a read through before you get started. Next, we've got this controller that only comes with the TurtleBot 4 standard model for driving your robot. Next, we have our TurtleBot. We've also got a docking station for the robot. And then finally, we've got the cord that connects to our docking station, as well as some extra USB-C cords as well. So the last thing that we need before we can get started with our TurtleBot tutorials today is a Linux environment, um, which can be either on your physical machine or in a virtual machine, um, and then also a ROS2 installation. Now there's a link to a easy to follow tutorial in the description box below if you don't already have that installed. Um, and then come back and see us once you're done. So first you're gonna need your docking station, which will be plugged in. And you can go ahead and place your robot on the dock. Okay, so that sound is, means we are ready to roll with the rest of our tutorial. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure our network and then connect both the Raspberry Pi and the Create 3 to our Wi-Fi networks. So in order to do that, you're going to want to open up your .bashrc file in your command window on your computer and enter this line of code to the end of that file. Now that that's done, we're going to exit out of this file and continue on with the tutorial. We'll start with the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your PC and connect to the TurtleBot 4 Wi-Fi network. The password for this network is also TurtleBot 4. Once you're logged on to that network, we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi to configure its Wi-Fi. Now the default password for your Raspberry Pi is also TurtleBot 4. Enter this line of code where you can input the details for your own personal Wi-Fi network. And just please note that it is recommended to use a 5G network, but not required. For the last section, select your regulatory domain, and that's just based on the country that you live in. Um, there's a few options displayed on the screen right now. Just pick the right one, depending on where you are. From there, the Raspberry Pi will reboot and connect to your Wi-Fi network. So now that we've connected our Raspberry Pi to Wi-Fi, we're going to go ahead and also connect our Create 3 to Wi-Fi. 
So in order to do this, we're going to press and hold the small buttons on the front of the Create 3 at the same time, and just wait until we hear the robot make a chiming noise and also for the light ring to turn blue. Once we see this, this shows us that we're ready to connect to Wi-Fi, so we will go ahead and connect to the Create 3's Wi-Fi network, which was in the format that's shown. Once you're connected to that, you're going to navigate to the IP address that's shown on the screen in your browser and open that up. Once you're on the Create 3 website page, you're going to go to the Connect tab where you can enter your username and password for your own Wi-Fi network and then click Connect. And once that's connected, the robot will play one final chime and we're all connected to Wi-Fi and ready to start driving. So the last thing we need to do before we can get started with driving our robot is to connect a controller. Now, if you already have a controller you'd like to use, please follow the tutorial that is linked in the description for this video, and it will walk you through the steps of how to manually pair your device. However, our standard TurtleBot does come with a pre-paired controller that looks like this. And all we need to do in this case is press the home button, and the white light will begin blinking. Once that light turns blue, we're ready to drive. drive the turtle bot is very straightforward. All you do, you hold the left one controller button and then you can use the joystick to move it around. If you want your robot to move a bit faster, hold the right controller button and it'll move a bit faster. To scroll the OLED screen on the turtle bot standard, you can use these up and down arrow buttons on the controller here. And this just navigates you through a few different pre-programmed options for the bot's motion. Um, the first one being auto dock. So you can press select with the X button and the robot will navigate itself towards its docking station. Now on the turtle bot light, you can also do this by pressing a quick press on the button number one and it will send itself to the dock and a quick press on button number two will send it to undock. That's it for our tutorial today. However, if you are looking to dig a little bit deeper into the turtle bots, feel free to check out the link in the description down below for some written tutorials that you can follow along with. As well, we will be releasing some more robot and turtle bot videos, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe. Um, if you found this video helpful today, feel free to leave us a thumbs up. And if you do have any questions at all, just comment those down below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.